Okay, it's close enough. Try the toga switch. Toga. Not working. No joy? Okay, advance it manually. What do we want? 97.23? Yeah, that's fine. Keep it straight. That's fine there. Brush that. B1, rotate. B1. Rotate. Okay. Now it's popped in. Positive right. Yep. Gear up. Gear up. More on the feet with verifying on there. It's already there. Got an ident for some reason. Yep. So let's not worry about that. That's a thousand feet. So you can pop an autopilot in if you want. Autopilot on. Okay. And now set speed to 220. Speed 220. And hit level change. Level change. So now you've got... Cross levers are still armed. So that's where you've got an arm position. See where it says in your FMAs right now, you've got arm, LNAV, MC yep. speed. So thrust lever mode is in arm, is fine for now. We can go flaps one now as well. Flaps one. Oh, now I see it. The one. That's cool. And we can pass the up, so up. let's go flaps up. Flaps up. And let's hit N1 to try and give us uh, an auto throttle mode. Let's see if this works. N1. Yeah, it worked. Okay, so now your auto throttle mode is N1. So your auto throttle is going to target um, a climb thrust setting of uh, the N1 is 94.4. You can see it's targeting that. And above it says climb in the EIS, DLB. So that's the thrust mode. LNAV is your roll mode, which is tracking our route on the legs page. And MCP speed is the uh, pitch mode right now. So it's MCP speed, alta quiet. That means we're picking up that 6,000 feet. Yep. So we go to stand pressure just, set? Let's just, no, we're, yep. we're on a altitude, so let's just stay on that for now. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. And now you'd be waiting for ATC to clear yeah. something higher. Obviously we're working within the limitations of the sim and certain things aren't working properly, but um, we'll just take everything in slow time so we get everything done. Yep. Normally everything kind of happens at once. Speed's dropping a bit for some reason. Well, uh, I'm at 222 knots because uh, we're, we're, we're holding our okay. altitude right now. Uh, mine, mine's showing. Sure showing. Really? Okay. Okay. So you see how we went wide on that turn? Yeah. Yeah. That just happens. Um, didn't have happened that badly. But now the aircraft's trying to re-intercept that routing. Okay. Let's say so you're clear to a flight level now. So, clear to flight level 1... 2 one zero. Um, No, we're not going to Iowa. Let's go flight level 180 straight off the bat. So wind the MCP window to 180. Up. Yep. Set. Hit and level, level change. change. It's a flight level, so we're going to set a standard pressure setting. Set. And let's wind the speed up to 250 knots. 250 knots. Set. Next speed limit is 250 below 100. Once we okay. pass flight level 100, we'll, we'll accelerate again. And to tidy things up, let's wind the heading round so that matches the heading of the aircraft right now. Okay, so that's... Uh, oh, I remember now, yeah. Got that little carrot there, showing you where it should slot in. And 261 is your track. Looking at about oops two five nine something like that. Well, 
bit more. But it's not important as long as it's roughly right. Yeah. So we're past flight level 100, so there's a few things we'd do now. We could turn the landing lights off and the turn off lights off. Yep. Take the start switches to off. Yep. And let's accelerate to 300 knots. 300 knots winding up and 300 knots set. I'll, I'll say winding next time. Yeah. That's okay. You can say winding if you um, Before I forget, when we do our approach, can we set up a bit earlier with everything so that I can... We will, yeah. Yeah, drive myself in. <laughs> we did test if the brake worked. This <laughs> <sighs> will be fun. Alright, so if ATC were to say to you, you are now cleared direct to settle. Yep. You're going to do that by going into the legs page. Legs page. Line select settle. Yep. Bring it all the way to the top left of the legs page. Where Coppo is, yeah? Yep. Okay. And then you can see in your nav screen you've got a dashed line, so it's yet to be executed, that's pointing towards settle. And you can check the range so you can see settle on your screen to make sure it's the right place if you want. And then yeah, execute. Gonna, should go left here. Yep. Executed. And again, why they're heading around to match it. Okay. That's just going to cover you if LNAV tripped out and it defaulted to heading select that you'd be going in roughly the right direction. At some point we would have done the after takeoff checks, we don't obviously have a checklist to, to meet the stuff but the standard stuff is going to be um, landing gear lever to off. Yep. Also brake to off. Yep. And then you check in for things like flaps are up, no lights, and pressure stations working, and that kind of stuff. Coping with these turns very well. Yeah. So when it goes a bit wide in a turn like this, it's going to try and re-intercept that magenta line. And if you want to make it easier on the aircraft, because you don't have to be on that particular track, just line select settle at the top again, and then yeah. re-select it, and then hit execute, and it will go re it will redirect it from this point direct to settle, oh, rather than from the point that you said it earlier. That oh, just cool. happens sometimes. With 3,000 to go, that was that chime. We're just approaching by level 180. Gonna hit the attend button to get me some goddamn coffee. <laughs> and the FMA has changed to alt hold. So let's start setting up for the approach. Okay. So we're going to Manchester. So we're doing our five Bs again, right? So let's start with bearings. So if you hit in it ref. Yep. Now it's your approach ref. So it's gonna tell you on there. ILS frequency for two three right is one oh nine decimal five. Okay. So let's set both navs to one oh nine decimal five. Shall I do the right one as well? Yeah. Both set. So your first officer can monitor you. Um, set your course selector to um, 234, as it says next to that, after the slash. 234 on both. Yep. Set. Okay, so we've got the bearings, 234. We've got the box done, which is 1095. 
We want to do brakes. So select auto brake three. Auto brake three selected. Um, and I'm wondering how much of the brief we can really do. Um, by briefing we can't really do too much, um, but we'll try and come back to that. Bugs is the other one we want to do. Um, we can work that out now if we like. So we want to bug the speeds for the approach and we also want to bug the decision altitude. But since we know that we're... No, fuck it, let's, let's bug the decision altitude. So in the EFIS control panel, yeah. you see you've got the one that says Barrow and there's another one that's similar that says Mins. Yep. That's your minima. Right now it's on Barrow, which is yep. good, because that's what we're going to use. And we want to wind that. Let's um, let's say 200 feet above the ground is standard for an ILS. So Manchester's 300 feet, so let's just dial in 550. Is it the outer circle or the inner? So it's the inner wheel, isn't it? Um, on that. Just to scroll. Yeah, sorry, the outer one is to select mids and Barrow. So it's Barrow, and you want me to scroll what? Just scroll it up to 550 and it will show in your primary flight display at the bottom. Barrow, yeah? 550. Yeah. Oh, this is a painter. It is, isn't it? Uh, oh, no. 550 set. Great. Okay. So is that, is that uh, when you say, uh, what is that for again? Is that when you that come into land? So yeah, okay. that's like your clearance limit almost for that style of approach. So as you come down to that 550 barrow is going to be 200 feet above the ground. And you'd have this on the airfield charts. Okay. Um, when you get down there, if you don't see anything, then that's the altitude you need to go around at. And that's when the uh, announcer actually says minimums, right? That's yeah. what I've always heard. I've never knew that. Where yeah. that came from on the switches. Cool. Okay. So that's yeah. that. And the other bug that we need to set is our speed bug. So okay. to work that out, we want to know what weight we're going to be at when we land. So hit the progress page. Uh, progress, progress, progress. Yep. And what does it say our fuel quantity is right now in the bottom right? 10.6. Okay. And your landing fuel at EGCC, which is one line above that? 9. So 1.5. So the, the difference is 1.9 from 10.6. 10.5 now. 10.5, okay. Yeah. So 1.5 is the difference. Hit yep. net ref. Yep. Gross weight at the moment is what? Uh, 132.3. 130.8. Yep. Set. With that weight in, it will correct the, sp the V ref speeds on the right, and it won't change them by much. Normally, for you know, for around a ton, you're looking at like a knot. So. Um, we're going to go flaps 30, so line select where it says flaps 30 and 141. Yep. Then click it again. And on the bottom right, you can see it says flap speed. Yep. 30 slash 141. Yes. Wind correction 5 knots, that's your basic one, um, your minimum one. So, well, it's not a particularly windy day, so we'll add 5 knots. Okay. So, uh, bear so what? When you say add five, just type ten in, and then leave. No, leave it where it no. says five there, and okay. just add it. Add it yourself. So it'll be one four six as the speed you're gonna fly. Right, I see. Okay, okay yeah, yeah. On a windier day, you'd add a, a higher wind correction, and you'd add ten knots yourself. Okay. Um, or whatever. Um, well, it says wind is through four at thirty five knots. <laughs> is that what you put it in as? No, no, no. Um, if you press. Uh, shift and Z a couple of times, say three times. Top left, you have some writing in red. I've just realized you can get the wind information from that because we don't have Hatus or anybody to speak to. Yeah, that's the wind at um, Our, where we are right now. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, so it'll be stronger up here because less friction. Um, okay, look, we'll just leave it at five. It'll be fine. Yep. That's good. Cool. So we've got bearings, for the two, three, four as we set up there. Boxes, the nav boxes that we set. Brakes, we set to three. Bugs. We're set to 550 feet and um, 141 knots for VRF flaps 30. Yep. And briefing is as follows. So you'll get radar vectors, i.e., from me. Um, 
towards the center fix for runway 23 right. You're going to pick up the localizer and you're going to aim to be flaps 5 with speed 180. Um, when you pick up the localizer, um, just make sure you're at least flaps 10 for this as we pick up the glide path and then keep configuring as you go down. So it's going to be flaps 1, flaps 5, we'll use flaps 10 and then we'll go gear down flaps 15 as the same, it's like the same call yeah. and then we'll go flaps 30 and the speeds will come down with that but I'll, I'll call those out so you don't forget them um, once everything's there we're going to check that the our landing check will just be that the start switches are in continuous at that time the speed brake is yeah. armed and the flaps, the landing gear is down and the flaps are at 30 and then we'll land off that Okay. Now when we come to this, is it top of descent? Yeah. On the, uh, do we have to hit VNAV or anything like that, or are we doing it manually? We'll we'll stick with MCP speeds. Just keep things okay. simple. VNAV's good, but um, for this we'll just keep it easy. The problem is with a sim like this, it'll be hard to tell what VNAV's doing and what is like a desync issue, like which ones. Yeah. Yeah. People are always saying when VNAV's in, people are always getting confused about what it's trying to do. So just exacerbate it here. So, play ATC have just cleared you to Rosin. Tell me what you do now. So, go direct to Rosin. Okay, I uh, go to my legs page, line select Rosin, put it onto the top where Saddle is, and execute it. Yep, good. Okay. So, do that now. Do that, execute. Sometimes you won't be following your LNAV track or your routing. So, yeah. let's say ATC have suddenly gone. Um, turn left onto heading 120 degrees. So, you're going to wind the heading 120 degrees. Yep, 120 set. And then press heading select. Okay, selected. And you'll notice that your FMA is now changed for your roll mode to heading select, right? Yep. The FMAs are really important to check that the modes are actually acting correctly because the lights on the MCP aren't as reliable as the, the FMAs. But later on when we try and pick up the ILS, we're going to have a roll mode, but we're also going to arm Vorlock. When we press that, it will show up in white because white means it's armed and that will be under your roll mode. Once we've captured okay. Vorlock, we're going to arm the glide slope, which is the approach button, and then under your pitch mode, which right now says out hold, it would say GS in white. Okay. And then when they capture, they'll turn green and take over. Once four locks captured, the aircraft with the autopilot engaged will fly the inbound radial for the ILS, i.e. the localizer. And when glide slope is captured, it will fly that glide slope. And the way it commands it is it'll prioritize that glide slope over everything else. So if you don't manage your speed properly, or your configuration properly, it'll just keep accelerating, it'll do whatever it needs to do to stay on that glide path. But right now in level change, when we use level change and MCP speed, um, like it says in the top left is our mode right now, uh, is the FMA, is it's always going to prioritise that speed over everything else. So, vertical speed will do the opposite as another mode. Um, we'll have a look at that in a second. So let's say you're now cleared to descend to flight level 150. Okay. Wind flight, flight level 150. And they've asked you to have your rate of descent as 1500 feet per minute. Okay. They'll hit vertical speed, VS. Yep. And wind that thumb wheel until it 1, says minus 1500. Yep, okay, that's set. Now your aircraft's gonna go down to 1500 feet a minute. Uh, quick question. Yeah. On the uh, 
map page, I see Rosen off to our 2 o'clock, but we're not heading towards Rosen. Because we're on a yeah. heading of 120 degrees, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got that over at Ride. Yep. Order. Oh, okay. So, now you can see on your VSI on the right side of your altitude tape that it's flying 1500. And you can see that little magenta bug there telling you that that's what you're supposed to be at. Yep. Now, vert vertical speed as a mode will prioritize that vertical speed over everything. So even though you've got 300 set as your target speed, if you wound that vertical speed, don't do it, but if you wound it yep. all the way down to say 6,000 feet a minute, it would accelerate to achieve that regardless okay. of your speed in there. So it's the mode that you need to monitor when you use it. Yep. The, on your nav screen, do you see that big green arc that's appeared yep. in front of the aircraft? Yes. That's telling you where you're going to level out at that altitude or flight level. Cool. So if anyone said to you, fly direct Rosen, um, and you didn't want to use VNAV for some reason, they said go direct Rosen and uh, descend flight level 80 to reach Rosen at flight level 80. All you have to do is tinker with it until you've got that green arc line. on line to yeah. Rosen. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was looking at. Oh earlier like if you you see got uh, that on the ethos panel you got approach for map plan that center button you can uh click it a few times and you can get another kind of usually like a compass rose yeah you can see it like a side on angle as well yeah. so from here let's go to um director rosin okay so uh st st line select rosin and back on itself and execute yep Okay, execute. And now we need to go into LNAV as well to get it moving. Okay, okay. LNAV selected. Right. Yep. So right now your mode should be MTP speed LNAV alt acquire. That's the third one. That is correct. Good. So that's alt acquire, is it just picking up the altitude and then it will change to alt hold in a second? There we go. Alt hold now. Right. On your nav screen, you see there's a, um, a thing to the far right side and it says two probably says 2999 or 3000 right now and it's, it looks like a little glide slope indicator little um, magenta diamond like squash diamond oh yeah that's your VNAV profile but depending on what you've put into VNAV and VNAV works on basically the information that you put into the page so you can tell it what the winds are going to be like at certain levels you can tell it what restrictions you want to um, achieve and which speed you want to maintain and it'll work out a profile for you. And in VNAV mode, it'll do its best to stay on that mode with that little diamond in the middle. Right now it's telling you are 3,000 feet low, which isn't a problem for us. But in VNAV modes, it would target that or target a VNAV speed that you set. But that's kind of another subject. Okay, but for so now, I, let's, I, I descend, yep. let's descend to flight level 80. Okay, and use the vertical or level change this one. Okay. Level change. But because level change targets the speed, 300 knots that we've got set there, yep. you'll notice that the flight directors just go all the way back to idle. Yep. All it care about, cares about is pitching to, is flying that speed. Yep. And it's just going to do that through pitch. Okay. Lurching to the right a bit there. It is, isn't it? It's weird. Yeah. Oh. Probably just trying to reintercept that track. So. Yeah. You can reselect Rosin. Okay. Done. And hit. I'll have again. Oh no, sorry, you don't have to. Yeah, it's yeah, sure. already done. Yeah. Yeah, it does look like, like you were saying, it looks like it's trying to just get right onto it, then left onto it. Yeah, it doesn't manage that one so well here on the sim. It's that's right. The aircraft. Yeah. You were talking about speed readout earlier on as well. Um, in the nav screen, it tells you your speed read, uh, your wind speed readout for your altitude uh, in the top left there as well. Yeah. Which is um, handy for descent planning. So right now, you know you've got a tailwind. So that's uh, the question I was about to ask. Um, if its direction is coming from or going, but then I see it's got an arrow as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And it's always the direction that the wind is coming from. 
Okay, as an ATC request, let's go left onto heading uh, 150. Left heading 150. 150. Okay. Just, just set the heading to 150 and hit heading okay. select. Um, I left it at 120 from whenever we last did it, but are we supposed to keep it wound up to yeah. you know, so your current? Okay. Yeah. So every time you're not in heading select and you're in a different mode, you just tidy it up by winding it back up to the top. Okay. Like we said earlier, so if you lost El Nav, it would at least fly the same direction. Yeah. What screwed me up is that I had to uh, <laughs> roll it right, and I was like, left turn, but ah, I love it. Yeah. Okay, that's yeah, again, that's fine. And continue the descent to altitude 3,000 feet. Okay, 3,000 feet set. And let's go with QH 1000 again. I don't know what the QH is supposed to be today in Manchester, so. Um, what, set Press that now? Yep. As soon as you clear to an altitude, set QH. So you hit that standard button again. And then check the readout at the bottom is a thousand, which it is. Yep. And we're below flight level 100, so we should really reduce the speed. Okay. Let's, bring the sp let's bring it back to 240. Speed to 40. Now, if you go to the legs page. Yep. You can see that you should be. It's got an altitude of 3,500 feet, right? DF23 right? Yep. And, f and FF23 right? Yep. The FF23 right is where you're going to be picking up the glide path at 3,500 feet. So for descent planning, that's where you want to be at 3,500 feet. Okay. So right now you'll notice that that green bar that we had earlier on is way off, in, off the screen. That's because we're decelerating. Now it's probably coming back. That's because our now um, level changes prioritizing your speed reduction, or it starts getting you down again. And jets typically can't slow down and go down at the same time. Okay. I don't actually have that green bar, mm -hmm. but yeah. you don't. No. Oh yeah, no, be uh, because you're decelerating. Like that's, that's what I'm saying. Because your aircraft no, no, pitching do now. back. Yeah. yeah working off your rate of descent so your rate of descent has been reduced to allow you to reduce your speed right now and then okay. once it recaptures the speed it will go down properly and that green bar will come back again so it'll be on your screen go left again heading 140 degrees left 140 and stop descent at altitude 3,500 feet. Okay, 3,500. So, so I just wind that up again. There's nothing else special I need to do. No, that's it. So. Again, we haven't put wind information into our VNAV profile, but it's still not completely useless. If we want it to be somewhat useful, we just need to make it at least think that we've got the same amount of track miles to cover as the um, or the FMC to think we have the same amount of track miles to cover as we actually do. So right now, the FMC thinks we're going to go to Rosen and then to the Centrefix, and we're way out, yeah. so we're way off that. So select Rosen to the um, select Centrefix two three right to the top. Yep. On the legs page. Yep. And execute that. And the aircraft's not going to turn because it's not an LNAV. Yep. So we're staying on that heading. But now the FMC knows that we've got that amount of track miles. And if you're wondering what that amount of track miles was, hit the progress page. Yep. And it'll tell you there. So EGCC, you've got 30 miles. Yep. So I'm reading the uh, wind direction right. We've got a headwind now, just slightly off to our yeah. right. So yeah. that's helping us to slow down and get yeah. down as well. Though, so why don't we start reducing the speed? Let's bring the okay. speed back to 220 knots. 220, set. And you'll see that your green bar is now moving away because yep. your rate of descent has been compromised to 
reduce your speed. But you'll get your rate of descent back once the speed is captured. Or you've acquired that speed. Now you can see that that up on the speed tape is showing at about 205. Yep. That's actually our clean speed, our minimum clean speed. But as long as we're above that, we can stay with no flaps. Okay. Let's bring the speed back to 210. Speed 210, set. And let's take a heading of right onto 180 degrees. Right, 180. Set. Make that 190. 190. Set. And on this heading, you are cleared for the ILS. Okay. So from that heading, we need to hit Volok. Now? Yep. Yeah, because uh, we're going to intercept that. Volok enables. And Volok is armed. Yep. And then on the. Uh, PFD, it's in white letters? Yep, on your uh, FMA, is correct. FMA. Yep, your PFD, and then it's the FMA that is in white letters, yeah. Flight mode, nice. Flight mode, yep. So let's, let's start configuring. So okay. let's take flaps one. Flaps one. And let's bring the speed back to 190. Can you see how that speed 190 is sitting above the one? The green yep. one on the speed tape? Good. So we want to stay above that. Let's take flaps five. Flaps five. And let's bring a speed back to 180. Which again is sitting nicely above that green number five. The speed yep. tape. Now you see how right now the magenta line isn't really giving us much help because we're not on that track. If you want to see yep. where the localizer is extending to and where we're going to hit it, go into your legs page. Okay. Legs. Line select two three, CF23 right and reselect it at the top. Yep. Don't execute. And instead yep. at the bottom right where it says intercept course, type yep. in 233. 233. Okay. And execute. Execute. Oh, yeah. So there's now a straight line going straight through almost to what? The runway? Yeah. Almost? So, yeah. So yeah. it's extending out on 233 so you can see where you're going to pick it up. Turn right, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now we're at 3,500 feet. We're in out hold. And we're just waiting to pick up that localizer. When we take that right turn, can I just switch those lo the landing lights on just so I don't have to go up again later? Or do you want to do it correctly? Oh, it's fine. I can turn them on now. We should have the fixed ones should have gone on like three ten thousand feet yeah. anyway. So that's okay. fine. Let's, uh, the, let's put the start switch to continuous as well. Okay. And uh, auto arm speed brake at any point. Uh, no, no, yeah. Okay. No, yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll do that when yeah. we've got the wheels down or something. Okay. That's my cue normally for it. Landing okay. it down and then I do it. It's just the more I have to click, take my hands off the controls. No, uh, I know. Normally you'd have to. Yeah. Do it. Yeah. A bit so of a headwind. Yes, we can do it. Yep. Let's close the heading around to 200 degrees. Heading 200. Yep. So you don't have to. And it's it's going to going to capture in a second anyway. Just underneath your um, PFD, you can probably see that. It's just turn magenta. That um, diamond, captured. squash diamond. Yeah, that's your yep. localizer. So there we go. All are captured. So we're going to wind the heading round now, so that it's straight ahead on runway track. So we make sure we lost our mode, or we had to go around that we can track that. Yeah. Okay. And actually, in the present conditions with a tailwind coming from across to the left, you can see that little white triangle showing you where your aircraft heading actually is. Yeah, so move it there instead. Yeah. Yeah, two two eight. And you know, let's be honest, with a twenty knot tailwind right now, we'd be landing on the opposite runway, but we're just yeah messing around with us. In a moment on your PFD you're going to see that um, purple diamond, it's a purple empty diamond right now, start to move down. Yep. That's, your that's your glide slope indicator. 
So would you put the uh, approach hold just as it's about to match the sensor line? So it's starting to come or? down now. Yeah, normally you do it just after you get the warlock capture. So let's okay. hit approach mode now. That's on. Okay, approach selected. And let's configure a little bit more. So let's take flaps okay. 10. Flaps 10. Again, because we've got tailwind, you know, you want to be nicely configured to help you get down. And let's bring the speed to 170. Speed 170. Just above flaps 10. You know how many miles we are from the airport right now? Um, 12. Yep, yeah, good. Are you reading that from VR1 and VR2? Oh, I was screen, looking at that. Left and bottom right. Okay, cool. I went back to the progress page, but yeah. Fine. We've still got a bit of distance to run. Let's go slip capture. Yep. Single channel approach is fine because we're not going to do an auto land. But for now, let's go uh, gear down. Gear down. And flaps 15. Flaps 15. Speed 150. Speed 150. We get that warning horn until all the lights have gone green. And yep. if the horn's still going, down. there's a cancel button. The can. horn's off for me. Ah, okay, it's long for me. Okay, and let's continue f uh, configuring. So, from this speed, we can go straight to flaps 30. Okay, flaps 30. And do you remember your flap 30 speed? 148. So, why then? One for eight set. Should we auto arm the speed brake? Yeah, that's right. Getting close. Yep. Okay. It's armed. One point. And uh, we would throttle. about now we do the landing checklist as well. So okay. that would that would cover the arming of that. We want to select the start switch to continuous as part of that as well. Continuous, yep. Yeah. And flaps are at 30, so that would be landing checklist complete. Yep. You can disconnect the autopilot. Autopilot disconnected. Disconnect the auto throttle. Auto throttle disconnected. New vision. Bit high. Okay, correct. Up. One hundred fifty. Sync rate ten. Oh. Sync rate's not a good one to get on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Reverses all the way. They are. Good. Manual brakes. I don't think they work because <laughs> you know why. Okay. Yeah, but oh uh, god. Oh my god. Uh, stop. Stop. We're dead. Well, God damn it. You're out of a job. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe here's got a ditch. Like <laughs> now we're dead. Yeah. Well, that was disappointing. <laughs> it fine. was good. It was good. We can we can try it again.